Okay, now we're going to talk about backing up our local drive onto another local drive. So you have your files being copied to a separate drive, but it's still on site. This is good if you have to do fast backups and restores. Now, this is always a good thing to have it local because if you're relying on live drive, it can take quite a long time to get everything downloaded if you have hundreds of gigabytes. So live drive should be your second backup and you should have a primary backup locally like this. So always sync does this automatically for you. Basically you download the software and install it and then you choose what you want to synchronize and you can synchronize in one direction or in both directions. If you're synchronizing in both directions, if you delete something off of your drive that you're backing up to, it'll delete it back off of your source drive and same if you delete it off your source drive, it'll delete it off the target drive where you're backing up. You can also have it sync only one way. Okay, so of course the first thing you're going to need to do is download the software. So I just save the file and then install. Okay, now we'll go through the install process. Just click next here. Read the license agreement and accept. Okay, and then where you want to install it, usually the default is fine, but you can change it here. Okay, now you can install it as a service if you want. That way it'll run without actually being logged in. You can just turn your computer on, it'll run. I like to do that. You can create a desktop icon here. Okay, now start Aoi Sync now and finish. Okay, and then here is the Aoi Sync window. Okay, now here's my live install of Aoi Sync, and I have several projects in here that are syncing for me. And I'm syncing from my computer onto a portable drive that is a USB drive that I plug in. It's 150 gigabytes. You can get a terabyte drive or whatever you need. You can also connect up to network drives. And there are also online services you can do right from in here. Now the problem with a lot of these online services, they only offer about 5 gigabytes. And uh, that's why I showed you first about Live Drive because it is unlimited. And unfortunately, you can't do it through here. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is set up a project to backup. Okay, so what you do is go to Job. And then you want to come down here to Add New Job. Okay, and then you get a window like this. Now, over here you'll see New Job 1. You can change the name of that. But first, what you want to synchronize. So if you click this, you see the different types of things you can synchronize. A Windows folder, FTP server, FTP server, Amazon S3, Offsite box, Web Dev folder, MS Active Sync folder, Archive or Encrypted Archive, Google Docs, Windows Azure, SkyDrive, iKeep and Cloud, and Dropbox. So you can synchronize to all of those different services. Now we're going from here, so I'm going to go from a Windows folder. Now what I do is I click Configure to find the folder that I want to back up onto my other drive or onto a SkyDrive or wherever I'm going with it. Okay, so I'm going to click Configure here. Okay, and then the path to the folder. Okay, so let's browse for it here. Okay, and then you find it on your drive. Okay, so I'm going to pick Public Pictures. Click OK. Okay, and we have Users Public Pictures. Okay, and now where are we going to put it? So this is where we go here. And like I said, we can go to any of these drives, but we've already got that looked after. So what we want to do is go to Windows Folder and then configure. Now, we're not going to want to go to the same drive. So you need to either have a network drive set up or you need to have another disk drive. Now, if I open up my computer right now, okay, now here I have my disk drives. I have my main drive that has all my files on it that's built in. I have a MyBook drive that I use for backup. I have some removal, I have a removal disk here, a small one. And this is a network drive, and this is a network drive. So I can hook up to any of these to back up my data.
Okay, so we'll pick the drive we want to back up onto. So I can pick up pick this shared drive here, which I call my backup drive, and click OK. Okay, and then here we can change the direction of the synchronization. If we click on that, you see here that we click on the source. So if we click on this size, we have one-way synchronization. This is the source. The other side is the is the destination. If I leave it as it is, then it's going to just it's going to be two-way synchronization. I can also synchronize it this way. I'm going to do one-side synchronization. Since this is a backup, I'm never going to change the direction that it's going. This is just for backup. Okay, now you can analyze here and synchronize. But one thing about this, if we right click on this job first, let's rename the job. I'll call it Pick Backup. And then let's right click on it again. And let's go to Properties. Okay, and then in here, we want to set automatic synchronization. So if you click on that, and then you click when you want synchronization to take place. So when a removable device is connected through the specified period, so you can select a period when the file changes are detected, when computer is idle, on application start, or before log off, or use a task schedule. So you can do any way you like. I like to do when files or changes are detected, and then you can give it a delay and click OK. Okay, now let's analyze, and it'll go through, and here it goes. So it's doing a countdown of what needs to happen, and it shows you in the window here. First thing it's going to show you is if there's a big difference. It does this in case you accidentally deleted a whole bunch of files or you deleted a whole drive. Instead of propagating all the deletions, it lets you know so that if something happened, you can stop this right here and restore your backup. I'm going to ignore this because this is the first run through. Okay, and then it synchronizes to find the differences. Okay, and then you can click synchronize and it'll go through and synchronize the first time. And that's it. From now on, your files are going to be synchronized automatically after the specified period of time has gone by between a file changing. This keeps it from from uh, backing up any work files or anything like that. Okay, so now we have a backup that's going to run for us automatically all the time and keep our data in sync. Now, if we need to do a restore, we can do what we can do. If we had to restore, for instance, a whole directory, we could synchronize the other way, or we could just copy the data using Windows. Using Windows. Okay, so that's it. That is how you create backups for your computer.